everybody, this is Brittany again coming at you with another video. Yay! So today I'm going to be filming the what's in my bag tag. And let me show you my bag. It's super heavy, but look, it like covers my whole face. This is my handbag and you see how bulky it is because it's got so much stuff in there. And this is the Michael Kors Hamilton bag. I know that there's one bigger than this. I'm not sure if there's one smaller than this. And this also comes with a cool little strap so that, you know, it's too heavy. When it's not as heavy as this, you can actually throw it around your shoulder. I love this bag and I actually bought it because I needed a bigger bag to fit my iPad mini because I take it with me everywhere. It's like my favorite thing. I think I've had it since February or late January. So let's get into the contents. So the first thing I, like I said, that's in my bag is my iPad mini and I just absolutely love this. This is a case that's from Brookstone and it's cool because you can stuff things in your pocket like here's some notes to myself and things like that and it's also got a little back pocket. Um, I am pretty brutal on my iPad cases so I'm it's actually kind of dirty so please forgive me but there is my iPad and, and I love it. I take it with me everywhere. This is not one that has Wi-Fi, but it's still very useful because, you know, most places have Wi-Fi these days. Yeah. The next thing, of course, that needs to be in my bag is my cell phone. And this is the iPhone 4S and I have a life proof case on it. This, this is waterproof, splash proof, drop proof, you know, shock absorbent. And it actually is very waterproof. I've had this case on my phone since August, maybe, and I haven't taken it off yet. And I keep it with me everywhere in the shower, I keep it close to the stove, I, it's getting so much abuse that I'm afraid that when I take it out of this case that I will damage my phone. So I keep it in this case for now. The next thing I have is my iPod and if you're going to start laughing this is the 120, 160 gigabyte version of the iPod and I have a lot of music. So at the time when I got this they didn't have one in the touch iPods as big as what I needed so um, I still have this and I keep it mostly in my car but you know when I need to put new music on it I bring it inside the next thing I have in my purse of course is my wallet and I know it's not the cutest thing ever but I really needed a wallet that kind of opens up this way and um, and it holds a lot of my coupons you know like for Ulta and CVS if you're buying a lot of makeup I always try to keep my coupons in my wallet because you never know when you're just going to randomly be in the store. The next things I have in my purse are tons of, and I just dropped one. Tons of lip products and yeah. So the first thing I have is a NYX butter gloss and this is the color Maple Blondie and this is just comes up really nude on me and it's just a light kind of peachy pink and I really like it because it's very moisturizing and it's just a pretty pretty color if you don't really want to wear color on your lips. I have is a Revlon lip butter and if you want to see swatches of this go visit my blog. This is Sorbet and that's what I have on my lips right now and I just love these. I have a ton of these which are probably all sitting in my purse which is kind of funny. And like I said I have another lip butter. This is the color Wild Watermelon and these are the new shades that I have in there and this is just a red color I think I was wearing this color in my last video and I just keep that in there I, I change them during the week and I just don't realize like hey let me take the old color out and put it in there so I just have lip products in my purse this is another Revlon lip butter and this is juicy papaya and I really like this it's a really soft pink and it's just really pretty for work and for school if you're not trying to have that much color on your lips a Lafis lip balm. This was in my conscious box. Not exactly sure if that's how you pronounce it, so I'm sorry if that's not, but it kind of just slides up like this and you just, you know, stick your hand in. I already made a pretty big dent in it. I'm not sure if you can see that, but yeah, it's unscented. It's just your standard beeswax um, lip balm. I have a Honest Company Organic Lip Balm in Lavender Mint. It twists up at the top <laughs> and I think that's really cool it doesn't really smell too much of lavender it's super super faint but it's also super moisturizing because I don't follow me on Twitter you saw that my mom's dog actually ate my Maybelline baby lips that I was in love with but 
I've had this in the meantime and I figured I might as well use it before I go purchase something else. So this is what I've been using. My next product is the Fresh Sugar Advanced Lip Therapy Treatment. And I think this is almost empty. So I'm just like holding out for when I need like an emergency session. So yeah, I reviewed this on my blog and compared it to the Maybelline Baby Lips. And this is a little bit more moisturizing, but this is about $27 plus tax. I have a Sugar Rosé by the same brand, Fresh. And this one is just a tinted... Um, it's not a lip treatment, it's just a tinted lip balm kind of, and it's just a nice pretty red. A bunch of pens. I don't know why I have so many. Or on a side note, because my mom always told me, you never put your purse on the floor because that means you're going to lose money. And my grandmother also told me that as well. Comment down below if your grandparents ever told you something superstitious like that. So this is the Fresh Picked Apples Bacterial Hand Sanitizer. And I really like these, especially after pumping gas because your hands... You don't know what's on that pump, so I really like using this. And this is actually my favorite well for Birch Box um, nail file. And it's kind of florally and pretty. I have the NYX Matte Blotting Papers because I have super, super oily skin and I always need some help even though I use setting sprays. My skin is just not having it. So these are really good. This comes in packs of 100. And if you get it from Nordstrom Rack, it's a lot cheaper than buying them from Ulta. There's just a pro tip for you right there. Next I have a Soap and Glory, the Righteous Butter. This is a body butter and I use this mostly for my hands and um, if I miss any spots in my legs because you know how that goes sometimes. So I'm almost done with this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to repurchase it because it smells very florally. It's very perfumey and for my, my lotions at least I like to have them not be scented just so if I'm wearing a scent that day or perfume that you'll smell the perfume and not the lotion all day. So I have a compact mirror. Is that upside down? A compact mirror and I bought a bunch of these when I went to Paris a few years ago and I have so many so that all of my uh, purses have their own mirror. So I have tons of these and you always need a mirror. Always. Oyen Handmade Juices and Berries. I talked about this in my last video and you saw that I had a shirt that said I only use, I use no chemicals, only juices and berries, which is funny. Um, I use this to refresh my hair. Sometimes if it's super dry during the day or if I go to the restroom and look at it, I'm kind of like, oh, I just whip this out, spray it out. It gives your hair a nice little moisturization and a sheen, and it smells like fruit punch. The last things I have in my purse are snacks. If you know me personally, you know that I can get kind of grumpy when I get hungry and it's an issue. So I usually have fruit. And this is a little miniola. These are really easy to peel and it's just really easy on the go to just kind of whip it out and eat it. I have oatmeal in case this is apples and cinnamon in case I'm running really late and I can't really eat, um, eat breakfast on time. When I get to where I'm going, I can just pop this in the microwave really quickly and eat so I can get my day started. Um, and the last thing in my purse are Altoids mints. So that's it for what's in my handbag, and I'm always really curious to see what people carry around in their bags. So if you want to, um, leave me a comment and say, you know, tell me what you have in your bag, what, you what kind of bag you carry, if you carry a lot of stuff, if you carry a little bit of stuff. I'm always really curious about that. Don't forget to check out the full list of items on my website, bellbellbella.com, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!